This is a quick overview of a handful of workflows that we have for content creation use cases. So I'm just going to talk through a couple of them. So the first is probably one of our more popular ones, which is create a long form SEO post from a keyword. So what this workflow does is given the keyword that you want to create the content for and given your company's value prop, go and execute these two really complicated set of prompts that are being sent to and from the large language model. So the first is create an SEO brief. So search the web for this keyword and understand what is the top ranking content and why. What are its headers? What are its key points? What are the people also asked questions? What are the related keywords that we should be also uh, ranking for or peppering into the article? It's, it's going to create a long form SEO brief. And then given that brief, write the blog post and write the blog post in accordance with all of the standards that matter or that are defined by Google for great SEO. And so the result looks something like this. When we're running this uh, for, let's just say, a digital transformation plan is the keyword, and we're doing this for a company called Applied Systems, just as an example, and here's how it looks. So the brief looks something like this. You can see the goal, target audience, length, value prop, call to action, and then the outline for the article itself, and then all the related keywords that we should be peppering in, and then take that brief and turn it into long-form content that looks something like this digital transformation in the insurance industry. Sourcing, linking, and all the things. Now, of course, you would include your brand voice. You would include your message guidelines. You'd include any styling that you wanted. If it's AP style or Chicago style or whatever, you can define that in the info base and then make sure that the reference or the long form articles that are created are referencing that information that you put into the info base. So that's one of the first workflows. The next one I want to show you is this create a use case oriented content, some more middle of the funnel kind of content from a sales transcript. And this is actually one that we have running on every single uh, sales transcript that we do. And what it's doing is it's taking that transcript and again, given your company's value prop, now it's listening to that sales transcript or reading the transcript and understanding what are the use cases that are discussed? What are the main pain points that are affiliated with that use case, the benefits of solving that pain, and then the personas who care about it? Outline. The article and then write that article and again we can write that article with uh the, any of the brand guidelines that you create you can go and you can uh, adjust the prompts that are being sent to create this long form content and then of course you can adjust which llm you want executing this step and the result looks something and we also have this uh writing promotional materials linkedin and, and email and again the results look something like this so given this transcript that was actually from a YouTube video, not even from a sales call. So this could be a transcript from a podcast interview, whatever. Um, and here's what the long form content looks like. So you can see it brainstorming, pain points, benefits, personas, outline. Here's the article. So there you have it. OK, and now next workflow I want to show is this thought leadership one. So similar to what I just showed, where we're taking the input as a transcript, but this workflow is much more complicated and does some really cool things where it understands who the speaker is. And then it's brainstorming. What are the main insights that speaker is talking about? Which insight do I want to use in this article? What's the voice of the speaker so that we can maintain that from uh, the audio into the, the written word? And then what are some key quotes from that interview that we want to maintain and use word for word as we're uh, writing on the written page? Outline it. Research the insight. So whatever the insight is that we're talking about, go do some research on this. Uh, understand like how can we substantiate the speaker's points with some uh, insights from across the web and then write a few different versions of the article so that we can go and uh, have a handful of options to pick from maybe cobble them together and then create something really powerful so again you can see given a transfer from a phone call we can go and see how it's doing its work so here's the controversial insight that it found Here's the description of the speaker's voice. Here are some quotes that we're going to use. And then all the way down to the article itself, the unconventional path to lifelong learning. So that's version one. And you can see here some stats that are being peppered in that the speaker did not say. Those were found in the research steps. Article two, article three. So is the content that's created from this work from these workflows is it perfect out of the gate? It is not. It still requires a little bit of fine tuning, a little bit of tailoring, um, but it takes you know 30 to 60 minutes 
to edit instead of 30 to 60 days to create and get across the line. And that's the value of using a platform like ours. Hope that was helpful. Talk soon.